allowed global tech giants such as Google and Facebook store your personal information at data centers in the U.S. or in your home country? This is a question that's being asked repeatedly by many governments around the world and more so of late following the Facebook Cambridge Analytica data scandal and the alleged Russian meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Now, the Indian government had last year set up a high-powered panel to suggest changes to the country's data protection law. The panel is holding its final meeting. According to reports, one of the changes that it has proposed in the law is that Internet giants such as Google and Facebook should store data belonging to Indians within India. However, this rule is to apply only to sensitive personal information. But reports say that the panel has been divided over the issue of whether companies should be forced to store data about Indians within India. This is because many Indian companies process personal data of European and American nationals as well. In fact, some sections of the tech industry have argued that data localization may hurt the country's $135 billion software exports industry, curtail innovation and economic growth as well. Now, the government's concerns are valid. The Indian economy is increasingly getting digitized. The government is pushing a Digital India initiative as it tries to meet development goals for the 1.3 billion Indians. Now, even as the Indian government is planning to make it compulsory for tech uh, giants such as Google and Facebook to store data for Indian users locally, the question that remains is to what extent will this move help in giving online users a safe environment? Given that India still lacks strict data protection regulations and a lot of catching up to do as compared to laws across the world. Here's a detailed report. India is the second largest internet market in the world. The country has over 460 million internet users. In fact, the number is expected to go up to 635.8 million by 2021. But sadly, the country with such a huge number of internet users doesn't have clear and strict laws to protect people against hacking and data breaches. And this, in turn, is leaving users vulnerable and prone to hacking. Well, the only question to ask here is what is stopping India from designing a safe environment for internet users? And all of that comes down to only one thing, the absence of strict legal framework. And there are a few things to note. We don't have a legal framework to govern how the data should be collected, processed and stored. Companies are not legally bound to report data breaches. For instance, in contrast to companies in the European Union, which has stringent data protection standards, companies in India are not expected to disclose data breaches to clients. We don't have a full menu data protection law that can guarantee a safe environment for Internet users in India. While a body has been set up to draft a data protection bill, it remains unknown as to when the laws will be enforced. Currently, the strongest law that we have is the years-old Information Technology Act 2000, but it's vague and also its enforcement is questionable. Clearly, India is not upping its game. It's not getting aggressive in improving the defense mechanism. And users like you and me are paying the cost in terms of our personal and sensitive details. Bureau Report, we on.